Today we're gonna talk about when I met the rapper Coolio. Yes, I met Coolio a long time ago. So, so this had to be, whoo, man, like a 96, 97, 98, somewhere around there. And we, uh, my dad, we were going to, to Louisiana to go visit family. And we were at the Oakland airport. And I remember us getting to our area and then sitting down. And I remember seeing him. And I was like, dad, dad. I was like, I think that's one of the tightest rappers out there. He was like, who? Him right there. And then my dad was like, go talk to him. Go see if it's him. I was like, nah, I ain't going over there. You know, he might got his bodyguards with him. He might try to beat me up or something. And so uh, we end up boarding the plane. And while, you know, if people were still coming on, my dad walked over to him and was like, you know, um, excuse me, are you um, Coolio? And then he said, yeah. And he was like, oh, my son likes your work. Can you get an autograph? I said, okay, if you get an autograph. He was like, yeah, no problem. <clears throat> he said, you got something to write with or write it down on? So my dad put out our boarding passes. And Coolio gave me his autograph on a boarding pass of a Southwest Airlines flight. Um, and I remember, man, like, I was so happy. I was like, oh, I can't believe, man, Coolio gave me his autograph. And just that feeling of uh, excitement, you know, being a, being a youngster like that, uh, hearing somebody music on the radio, but then also actually seeing them and meeting them. And um, I had that, I, I had that um, autograph for a little bit, man, um, probably up until like 2000, maybe like 99, 2000. And we moved from a, to a different apartment, and I lost that autograph. I don't know where it's at to this day. But if Coolio ever see this, I don't know if he remember that, man, but when he came to Oakland one time, it was a little dude and an old man, and you gave me your autograph, man. So for that, I salute you. And uh, that was when I met Coolio.